All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time to check out another banger, Cool Ono 9 recap. This is his um, recent recap, by the way. It's for his Spider-Man 2 recap, and it's called Spider-Man and Doc Ock was crashed out on the streets of New York in Spider-Man 2. So Hot Squad, without further ado, let's check it out. Another Cool Ono 9 banger, baby. So let's get straight to it. Alright, so boom, movie starts off with Peter Parker being the brokest individual at all times. Hmm. He then has the dilemma of going to go see Mary Jane or going to go be Spider-Man. Hmm. And Big P ain't no simp. He said, I got a city to save. This cop car did about 30,000 bajillion flips. It was in a land on some dumbass pedestrians that don't know how to move out the way. But Spidey came through in a clutch and webbed it up before it could hurt anybody. He apprehends the people that flipped over that cop car and he made it just in time to go see <laughs> Mary Jane's play. But the bouncer want to be a hoe and tells Pete to go sit outside, you are late. But then Pete pulls up on Otto Octavius to go do his paper, as him, Harry, and a bunch of other scientists are watching him do his experiment on fusion reaction. By the way, I'm hearing the persona for um, music again, Heartbreak. Heartbreak, I love that um, soundtrack so much. And if I'm Peter watching Otto do this experiment, I'm hitting bro with the, um, don't you think this get up is a little crazy? <laughs> and then on top of that, the fusion reaction is just a small sun. Oh. <laughs> and then Otto hits the, the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Oh, nah, I'm turning into Spider-Man right now and stopping you right where you stand. What are you talking about? The power of the sun in the palm of my hand, bro. You cannot have that. <laughs> and then the fusion reactions start drip checking. It's taking everybody's <laughs> jewelry in sight. And then Otto says, calm down. Oh. What are you talking about? Daniel Day Kim. Hey, I, I really just saw him in um, Avatar Les um, Airbender as General Iroh. Calm down. It just took my eyes, bro. That cost about 10 bands, bro. You're gonna have to reimburse me on my stuff. Or you boxing right here right now, Otto. <laughs> he starts pulling in all the metal in the It's room. only a spike. Harry's looking for Peter, and bro is nowhere to be seen. And Peter's broke ass saw that they were trip checking and did not want to be found out for being a broke ass individual. So he came back as Spider Man to help everybody out. And Harry sees Spidey, and bro starts geeking. And he's extra mad, too, because Spidey saved his life. Bro storms off saying doesn't change man, this doesn't change a thing. But once Spidey got Harry out of there, he pulled up on Otto and I was like, what are you doing here? And he said to them, I'm pulling the plug. And as he went to go unplug everything, you got see that right in the tent by one of Otto's tentacles. That's what his lame ass get for saying that sorry ass joke. But as Spider-Man laying out. The metal frame from this glass window starts to break off, and then all the glass shards boom Otto's wife. As he turns around, the fuse is breaking nah. the chip that he Damn had implanted into his head. That was real. Arms. I'm talking about, look at Octavius, bro is getting cooked. Yeah. But Spidey gets up and then disconnects all the force from the fusion reactor, and the thing just blew uh. up and then sucked back in like a goddamn black hole. Yeah, Otto, I don't think you had any of that under control, big dog. Yeah. It's the next day, and while Otto is laid out for to get a procedure done onto him, his four extra arms are booming the doctors by themselves, and then he gets up out of there. That whole hospital scene was crazy as hell. And my boy Peter Parker gotta have the worst luck of all time because him and Aunt May are at the bank oh, doing McHale. bank stuff, and right next to them, I'm talking about to the immediate left of him and Aunt May, is Doctor Otto <laughs> Octavius sent to rob the bank. And my question is, did nobody in the bank see this strange man with the trench right. coat Bossolino combo? My ass wouldn't have let him in if I saw him walk in like that. You got to go. But Octavius rips the vault door off and then he almost crushes on May to death whenever Peter kicks her ass out the way. And while Octavius is robbing the bank, Peter hit the nastiest dash of all time and Aunt May over here talking about some damn... Hey bro, don't leave me! As he comes back as Spider-Man, but then Octavius just starts slinging money at him. And if I'm Spidey, bro, I'm telling Octavius, bro, we are both too broke for you to be just throwing around <laughs> money like this. But Spidey grabs one of the bags out of midair and then throws it right back at Octavius. Peter tried to web Octavius' ass up, but he still got web blockage. And then Octavius gets this nasty ass throw. I'm talking about throws this bag of pennies at bro, having his ass splat on the wall. And then Octavius yokes little bro up. It was gonna start <laughs> squeezing bro's head like a grapefruit. But Spidey webs two tables at Octavius. He broke the one in half on his right, but he did not see the one on the left coming. And it boomed his ass out the bank. Bro's ass got blown back onto this cab, but Spidey came out the window. Otto threw a door at him, and he dodged the first one, but then he threw a second one, and it came like a around on Spider-Man sternum. And then of all the people Octavius could have took for a hostage, he took Aunt May, started climbing up this of course. building. Spidey quickly follows, he starts negotiating while Otto trying to get his auntie back, but then Octavius started playing with human life, drops her ass as oops, butterfingers. And all I got to say is, Octavius must have always been evil, because wasn't your ass just trying to finish the experiment, bro? What is he doing playing with human life like this, big dog? Spidey <laughs> lifts her up and moves her ass up above him, but before he could grab her, Otto starts getting his free licks off on Spidey. 
But now Spidey and Otto are going blow for blow, falling down this building while Aunt May is hanging on for dear life with her umbrella. While Otto got done extending CTV with Spider-Man, he slammed his ass through a window and then threw his ass into the building across from him. Then we go back to Aunt May as she loses a grip, but her overdramatic ass was standing over a ledge anyways. But Octavius gripped her ass up again, and Spidey said, oh no, nah, can't let that slide. He catapulted his ass towards him, but Octavius was concealing the doom he had within his robot arms. As he was just going to stab the mess out of Spider-Man, but Aunt May got some claws with her and smacked him across the head with her umbrella. And from the recoil of Aunt May's heavy-handed ass, Octavius drops her. The Spider-Man saves Aunt May's life while Octavius dips. But in the meantime, Peter Parker is having the absolute worst day of his life. As he got invited to this big oh, ass yeah. party, he got to deal with J. Jonah Jameson's BS, Harry's BS, and then not only that, the dude he was told to specifically take pictures of is going out with the girl that he's liked for like 37 Yeah, Peter got freaking dunked on in this entire scene, man. Oh. Tears. And look Damn, at man. Big Goat's eyes. Bro is holding back tears right now as he's trying to talk to Mary Jane. And just watch this scene, man. Look at what they do to my goat. Ugh. Huh? Isn't that you what? Huh, bro? Bro? Damn, yeah. man. Right in front of people, man. God dang. The beautiful Miss Mary Jane Watson. Ugh. Oh, so be brutal. Be. brutal. Brutal. God damn, man. Bro, if my best friend smacked me two times consecutively in front of the girl mm. I love my whole life. I'm launching myself into space, grabbing the symbiote, and coming <laughs> back and beating up Mary, because no way you're disrespecting me like that. Jeez. But after finding out Mary Jane through the streets, Pete's like, you know what? I think that's enough Spider-Man for a hmm. little bit. And after Pete quits being Spider-Man, Peter Parker's living life being an actual human being. Hmm. But on the side, Otto Octavius is still building that fusion reactor. But he needs some more tritium, so he pulls up on Harry, and then Harry's like, I'll give you all the tritium you need as long as you kill Spider-Man. <laughs> but Pete's in the coffee shop talking to MJ, and the whole ass car gets launched at the back yeah. of her head. He hits MJ, and he dodges the car, but then he turns around, and Doc Ock is right there. Oh, and gets him up, tells him to tell Spider-Man to come meet him at 3, and then <laughs> hitting us Mary Jane. So Peter suits back up and he is Spider-Man once again. Mm -hmm. So Pete pulls up on Doc Ock and they start boxing immediately. He gets this nasty two piece combo off on Doc Ock, but breaks it never again, gripping him by the chest and slamming him on the roof of this building. Pete fell down and he was grabbing onto one of the clock hands. Otto had knocked it off and now bro was falling down this building. And then Peter does attempted murder with his <laughs> bed. Attempted sword. murder. He swings it back up to Otto and he missed it. And I'm just going to assume he tried to headshot Otto with that clock hand. Yeah, man. But Otto tore it up, threw him back at Peter. Peter kicked both of them out the way, but he did not see the metal tentacle coming. And it blew him right. right in the chest. But Spidey webbed Otto, pulled his ass off the building, and now both these dudes are tumbling down this building onto the train. <laughs> they both recover, but Pete tries to web Otto, but he blocks him with the tentacles and pulls his ass to him. Then Pete kicks Bro in the face and then jumps off of him like he's goddamn Sonic or something. Then Pete almost got decapitated by a freeway. Spidey starts dodging the tentacles, then he swings off of one and kicks Bro in the face, but Doc Ock did not take the kind of that. Ripped Bro up by both of his legs and then tossed his ass into this sky bridge. But Spider-Man's cool ass slipped through the cracks of him, and I know his ass was brushing his shoulders off as he made it through the gap. Then he caught up to Otto and his ass, and I on the side of this train boxing. And my only question is, how does Otto not have vertigo? He was a regular dude like three days ago. Now he's fighting on buildings and on the side of trains like, your body is not used to this, big dog. Hmm. Then Otto grips Spider-Man's ass up, pause, and then slams his ass into the train. Spidey's ass starts parkouring in the inside of the train, ruining these New Yorkers days. And I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't believe J. Jonah James and then, I would've believed them now, cause why are you doing this, bro? Putting your old ass and toes in front of my face, big dog? <laughs> you are a <remiss. laughs> He comes back on top of the train and Otto is nowhere to be seen. He sees a tentacle and then he starts following it. He comes to the side of the train again, looks through the window and Otto pops up and smacks the mess out of the face, his bro. off the train track. But Spidey webs onto the back of the train, he pulls himself up, and Otto is mad pressed, so his ass starts throwing a tantrum and then throwing civilians off the train. Spidey saves their lives though, but then Otto goes to the front of the train, knocks out the conductor, then Otto takes the train in overdrive and broke off the train, and then his ass dips. Yeah, Spider-Man decides to be a sensible human being and do the sensible human being thing by stopping the train with his entire body. But that shit knocked bro out. As the passengers of the train come pick bro up, but Doc Ock pulls up, pushes the <laughs> citizens of New York out the way, hits Spider-Man with the nastiest jab of all time, and then drops his ass off to Harry. Doc Ock takes... That train scene, that fight between Spider-Man and Doc Ock was still holds out. It was one of the greatest... 
fights of all in any superhero movie, man. It was so good it's to this day. Twenty years ago, by the way. The Tritium dips and then Hayman <laughs> unmasked Spider Man, revealing that his teeth. Bro <laughs> was perplexed, bamboo is taken aback. Schmeckeldorf, even at finding out that <laughs> Spider Man, the man that killed his father, is his best friend. Pete figures out that Otto is trying to make the fusion reactor again, and he pulls up on Bro's blowing up abandoned house. And they get in the mix, frame one. A Spider Man pulls up on Otto, but <laughs> Otto threw man's out the building like crazy. Like his ass hit this nasty ass home run. But Spidey recovers, webs himself back into the building and slams Otto through the floor. While they're in the water, Spidey is just wailing on bro, but Mary Jane getting sucked into the fusion reactor. And Spidey back to the break from beating and breaks off of Otto. So he goes, saves Mary Jane, and then gets his spine cracked open with his metal pipe. And then Otto just starts throwing Spider-Man around, but then he hems him up by his leg. He was gonna stab bro right in the chest, but Mary Jane pulled up. He was gonna hit Otto tried to help this plank, but bro's tentacle caught it and then smacked the mess out of her. Hmm. So he then proceeded on with stabbing the Spider-Man, but Spidey pulled up some cables and blocked the stab. And then that started electrocuting Otto. I'm talking about bro is getting fried right now. No calamari. So while Otto is <laughs> turning the calamari back there, Spider-Man starts undoing the cables for the fusion reactor, but that hoe is still going. But after Otto comes to the hole getting fried by electricity, gave bro an epiphany because it fried the hmm. chip in the back of his head again. And hmm. then he figures out that the only way to stop it is by drowning the fusion reactors. So Otto sacrifices himself to save New York. And uh, yeah man, that's the end of the fight. Spider-Man won. And the moral of the story is, don't rob banks. <laughs> Don't That's rob the banks. only thing I could think of right now on the fly, but yeah. And if y'all want me to cover Spider Man 3, just let me know in the comments yes, down below. Please but do. Other than that, man, I'm going to get out of here. If you like, like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. All right, you know. W recap, cool, on the cool, W recap. But yeah, man. Um, I love Spider-Man 2 so much. It's still one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. It's hard to believe. 20 years ago it came out, man. 20 years ago. I mean, damn. Time flies, man. Time flies. But overall, this was hilarious. Rick really cool Ono. Keep up the great work, my guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Hot Squad. That's my conclusion of my reaction of Cool Ono 9 Spider-Man 2 recap. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit that button. Comment and share your thoughts. What is your favorite um, live action Superman, uh, Superman, Spider-Man movie? And how old was you when you came when um Spider-Man 2 came out? I believe I was six years old. I was six when this came out, definitely was. So yeah, absolutely W recap cool 109. So Hot Squad is now time for triple Zephyr recaps, baby. So my first one next I'm gonna do is his recap of Spider-Man Cross Spider-Verse, which I'm absolutely excited to see. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.